What's going on everybody, it's Jeff here. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about ticker symbol BNGO, BioNanogenomics. It's dropped almost 20% as a low of today from yesterday's close. I'm gonna go over exactly why that's happening, what the news is, okay, how to play it going forward, and what you, what you can expect, all right? So stick around, you're definitely not gonna to wanna to miss this. Guys, first off, the news continues to come out to be great for bio nanogenomics and their sapphire technology okay uh this was posted earlier yesterday it says you know their technology had identified all actionable variants improve, improving clinical strati stratification for patient treatment and eliminates the need for sequential and con confirmatory tests transforming a multi-week process into actionable results in just four days all right this was uh, based on a cancer um, research okay we know that recently they had also posted last week saying that in their symposium they had not um you know positive test results of being able to detect uh, early variants for COVID-19 who would be more susceptible this is great news especially that we're getting away from modern medicine all right however I'm going to go over a little bit deeper of the business as itself the company as a whole okay um so we heard yesterday the reason why the uh, stock had dipped after hours what they were doing a public offering all right their goal is to raise now we know the number of approximately 200 million they posted 33.3 million shares of common stock at a price of six dollars per share okay this is going to be uh closing january 22nd so it's just going to be running for a very short period of time um that's why the stock is dipping okay that we've seen this happening before especially lately with these penny stocks that are getting driven up so quick we're, we're seeing them the need to raise capital is there they need to have cash on hand a business needs to have cash on hand to be able to invest more in research and development and so forth this stock has risen so much almost 1500 percent um very quickly i want to read this little clip from the motley fool bio nano bio nano previously completed a stock sale of roughly 100 million on january 12th so this is their second offering okay the company's decision to sell more shares so soon could mean management mean management believes that in recent weeks bio nano stock price might have risen too far too fast that's their own management okay um this is like i said their second offering i would definitely expect to see another offering come out okay um don't be surprised um let's look at the nasdaq i always look at it bngo okay it's a strong buy on three top analysts however i will tell you that their target price was a dollar 42. however this was done three months ago so a lot has changed and i would expect that to uh change, um you know be upgraded however the consensus would probably still say stay at buy to strong buy which is good news for us okay i'm also going to dig into the institutional holdings guys if you don't know this, this is nasdaq.com i always like to look this up because this tells me what investment firms are doing okay i like to find Follow investment firms as they have much much more knowledge uh, behind them to you know grow their portfolios okay there's 23 increased positions overall and active and 11 decreased however the difference is about 20 percent i went over this in another video uh and same thing new positions is much higher uh at a five to one yeah five five six to one ratio which is great okay and i'm talking about the number of shares here five six to one which is great news However, let's dive into a little bit deeper of a company's financials, okay? Because remember, you're not, you know, if you're looking to just day trade this and you're looking to get your 10% in and get out, that's fine. It's like trading baseball cards, all right? Buying a baseball card, you know, Wade Boggs for 100 bucks, selling for 150. That's fine because you're trading. But when you're investing, okay, you're not just, you know, putting money on, on like you would in a baseball card. You're literally investing in the company, okay? You're buying a piece of the company, all right? So knowing what you're investing in is definitely going to be valuable in the long run. Let's take a look at their financials, guys, okay? Right now, I think it's let me refresh this guy just to make sure it's down. Yeah, it's at 802. It was down 12.25%. It did get as low as 20%, which is why when I you know uh, created the thumbnail for this, I did put down 20%. But look into these numbers, guys. And if you don't understand exactly what you know, you know, EPS earnings per share estimates and so forth really means, that's fine. But a couple things I do want uh to point out all right is look at this from september 2019 to september 20 their net income is continuously decreasing look at their year over year from 2016 to 2019 their net income growth is negative 61 percent which means as a business they're putting out more money than they're taking in okay so that's why they need to raise capital a lot of these many businesses need to raise capital for many different reasons okay but understanding um why they're doing it and a little bit more about their financials will be able to help you feel a little bit more comfortable and when you're getting in okay i'm also going to go over the chart so stay with me on this one um but some of these numbers operating margin margin negative 225 if you're looking to compare this 
Look up Apple's, okay? Apple's a great example of a, of a great balance sheet. However, that is, you know, a, a well-built company. But pull out other, other uh, you know, companies that are, are a little bit similar. Look at Nano Dimensions, all right? They've already done four offerings. It'll give you an idea of exactly of where they stand if you don't understand, if you don't fully, um, you know, can, can really understand exactly what these numbers mean. But I'll tell you this, guys, when you see a lot of red, you know, it, it means that they're not operating at a, at a positive, uh, in a positive factor. If you look at this as well, their net operating cash flow is negative, which is fine. If you look here in December up to June, it went up. However, they're decreasing it and it went down a lot. I would love to see once their, uh, you know, fourth quarter uh, financials come out exactly where they are. But that's their need to raise capital, okay? That's their need to raise funds. One thing that does worry about, about this stock, guys, is that it was not a direct offering. It's another public offering. I am still really unsure why. In my last video I made, I said that well, they probably want to do a direct offering because the institutions don't want to invest invest in it. However, you see on the Nasdaq that they are investing it. So I'm really I'm I'm I really don't know an exact reason why. Um, if you do, please leave it down in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Uh, but the one thing I do want to point out too is, um, you know, the technology behind this is great. Okay. The need for it is great. All right. Just like with any business, all right. There's a product, there's a marketing, and there's actually how to run a business. You have to stay profitable. There are many businesses that have great products, great margin marketing. You know, you look at restaurants, you know, you see restaurants that are packed and people love them. However, they go under because in the end, they don't know how to run a business. They don't know how to stay profitable. Well, it's the same thing with, 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 with um, you know, bio nanogenomics as well they have to be able to stay profitable if you look at a company and this is a very good example of theranos if you guys don't know this, this story please look it up and read it okay um yes the, the, um this woman was had some issues and you know and, and there's a lot to this but it was a, a great company that came out they had a great product that was able to basically test blood uh and very very similar almost to, to what the the sapphire is doing in a way however it skyrocketed and now if you look at it right here it bought back its shares for just a buck like it can't even you know it just completely went under it's a very good understanding of what happens when a company doesn't know how to be run like a profitable company okay uh understanding pnls and so forth for, forecasting sales all right um there's a whole a whole other side of that to that okay but let's get into the charts guys i really want uh you know this is very important too as you can see right here this is when they did uh posted their other offering i believe it actually came out on i want to say the eighth correct me if i'm wrong i believe the news came out uh, a little bit after this so you can see right here guys it hit a high of 720 pulled back to all the way 477 a couple days after that 470 that's like a 50% pullback, okay? So I don't expect this to quite do a 50% pullback. Right now, I believe it's at just 12%. I, I could see that going further. It was intraday down 20%. That's why I put it in the thumbnail, down 20% when I'm making this. Um, However, I would potentially see it to you know continue to be pulled back a little bit. Look for consolidation. Once you can find a new support, that might not be a bad time to get in. However, I believe that they will definitely do at least one, if not two more offerings, okay? Uh, it's very common now, especially in, in 2021, even in 2020, with a lot of these penny stocks that are blowing up so quickly, uh, management is like, listen, dude, we're up you know, 500, 600, 1,000 percent in a month, let's get some money back, let's get some cash, so we can actually start to try to become profitable. Um, so that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I, I really just, like I said, it's not you know crazy news, it came out yesterday, but at least we know it's 200 million, um, but it just gives you a little bit of insight of what to expect, where to go. Do I see this at th th this price being at the twelve to fifteen dollar uh, price target down the road? As long as the company can stay profitable in twelve months, I do. Uh, however, in the short room, picture it to continue to be a rocky up, down, up, down, up, down as these continue to the offerings. Um, so that's it for this video, guys. I hope you like it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know how many shares you have, whether you're, you know, your dollar cost averaging or whether you're just holding and you got into it at a dollar, two dollars. I would love to hear it. And then any comments about this video, guys, hit that like and subscribe button. I'm trying to grow this to be able to help you guys out. That's it. I'll see you in the next one.